two is our time and this is a story that continues making national headlines this morning. Kate Middleton, of course, revealing her cancer diagnosis. Joining me this morning is Dr. Anjani Urban with SSM Health and she's here to weigh in on what stands out from a medical standpoint and also what people need to know about detecting cancer and detecting it early. So good morning to you, Dr. Good Urban. Morning. Thank you so much for being here. So what, what does stand out from a medical standpoint? Kate Middleton's 42 years of age. She's got young children and this came as quite a shock. Absolutely. Um, unfortunately, we have been seeing, for unknown reasons, more and more of a trend of younger people being de detected with cancer. So um, this definitely came as a shock because we've all seen Kate Middleton. She looks like a perfectly healthy person. And, and people are being diagnosed earlier, as you mentioned, and, and men and women obviously require different screenings. But what are some cancers that are being detected earlier and younger, and, and when should people start getting screened? Absolutely. So colon cancer is actually uh, one of the forms of cancers that we have been alarmingly seeing a larger population of younger people getting diagnosed with. In fact, so much so that our cancer screening guidelines have changed. Initially, they were recommended to start cancer screening for colon cancer at age 50, and and uh, just a few years ago, they have updated that recommendation. So now we recommend it to start at age 45. Uh, and that's for both men and women uh, if with no uh, history of uh, colon cancer in their family. If there is an actual history or concern of colon cancer, we would actually even recommend it earlier. Wow. And how often should people get screened for that? Depending on the type of colon cancer, screening can occur anywhere between uh, every one year to every 10 years. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it, that is definitely very dependent on the form of colon cancer screening that you get. And of course, we don't know what kind of cancer Kate Middleton has or what stage she is in, but nonetheless, she had to break this news to her young children before she could go public with it and talk to them in an appropriate way about this news and how she's processing it and mm -hmm. what she wants them to know about this. What would you encourage for other young parents who receive a diagnosis like this? How would you encourage them to talk to their children? Um, that is such a difficult position to be in. Um, just getting a cancer diagnosis in and of itself is a lot to process. So first, make sure that you've processed the diagnosis yourself. Um, children are at various stages of development and will have a varied ability to understand uh, conceptually what is happening. And so uh, you want to break the news differently and explain things differently to a young child as opposed to a teenager. And if you're not quite sure how to do that, it might be a good idea to talk to a pediatrician um, to help guide you through that. Thank you so much for this insight here this morning. Dr. Urban, was there anything else you wanted to add I didn't ask you? Uh, I just uh, highly encourage people to talk to their doctors about what might be appropriate cancer screenings for them at their particular age and state of health. Uh, and uh, regular checkups are always recommended. So at least once a year, even if you feel perfectly healthy, check in with your doctor and they'll let you know if there are any recommended uh, screenings. Such an important reminder. Dr. Urban, thank you so much. And if you'd like to see more, we're going to have much more coming up on our evening newscast of Fox 2 News. And we'll post this full segment if you missed anything on our website, fox2now.com. We'll be right back.